My next speaker is somebody I met a few weeks ago. Um, she's an amazing woman from China. And what I wanted to say earlier, what I would tell you now is, it's an amazing place, this Torrey Pines Mesa we're, we're in right now. There is all kinds of amazing research going on in lymphoma right here on the Mesa and nearby. Um, and she is the president of DeNovo Pharma, Biopharma, excuse me. It's a biotech firm with offices in China and the United States. And they have a lymphoma treatment um, that will soon be in advanced phase three clinical trials throughout China. So needless to say, she's a very important person and I'm very, very happy to have her. Dr. Zheng, Zheng Ming Fang. Hope I got that name right. Thank you, Jamie. Um, glad to be here. Thank you for uh, inviting me. Um, when I heard about Jimmy's, uh, Jamie's um, project, I thought, wow, that's interesting. Uh, as Jamie already said, uh, my company, De Novo Biopharma, is a biotech startup company. And what we do is uh, we, um, we, in we recently in licensed a drug from Lilly, Eli Lilly. Um, the um, one of the indication is lymphoma. It's a DLBCL. Um, it's a um, what do you call it? DLBCL, a diffuse large B cell lymphoma, and that is one. It's a long one, <laughs> but it is yeah. It is the, the majority of the non Hodgkin's. Um, uh, I think probably 40, uh, 48 percent, 40, 50, 50 percent approximately. Uh, the, pop um, the patients, um, the disease uh, for the non-Hodgkin's disease. So um, I said, wow, naturally we should be involved in this project. Um, the company is um, funded, originally funded here. Then we went to China. My partner, Wen Luo, and I went to China. We got funding from a, a Chinese pharmaceutical company to start with. And then we raised additional funding last year in May, the end of May, uh, from um, big Chinese VC firm, get the A run funding. So what we are doing is we use a personalized medicine because the drug originally developed by Lilly failed in their phase three clinical trial. Then we did a uh, um, data analysis. We found a subgroup, subpopulation actually in fact benefit. So, um, and our company, we have a, t a platform technology. We are able to identify biomarkers, which will be correlated to try to predict patient response beforehand. So, for now, we are working on the biomarker discovery. We have some preliminary data. Sounds very uh, encouraging. So, we we'll probably use a biomarker to select patient, and then to do the clinical trial again in those selected patient populations, hopefully we can um, uh, rescue the drug. And what we do is we plan to do majority of our clinical trial in China, but we will do um, trial in US, maybe in Europe, depends on, because uh, the patient population is still not that big. We probably need to have to open many sites. But anyway, so, um, it's a, such a great opportunity for us, for De Novo, to work with uh, Jimmy's uh, project, um, China Lymphoma Project. And then we'll probably, we can help each other to educate the Chinese uh, uh, patient population. And now I just heard from Zhizhong, there is a big uh, lymphoma advocate patient uh, group. Yes. So um, actually, one, of, one, one. one yeah, uh, one of my, middle school teacher had a lymphoma, and I visited, him, visited her. She currently seems like giving up because it seems like she feels like a too much, it's just the treatment itself hurt, she, hurts. She in yeah. She's in Hangzhou, yeah. my hometown, and it also is the, the company where our China site located. Mm -hmm. So I hope our treatment or education or somehow this kind of program will help her to basically lift her spirit to continue fight. 
Um, and I just have to say, I really admire uh, Jamie's um, spirit and then enthusiasm. So try to initiate such a project as a single person to start with. I know how difficult that is. And also, as many of you probably know, we have a, there is a local Chinese um, uh, professional association called the Sino American Biotechnology and Pharmaceuticals Professionals Association. We have a um, program all year round. Um, so we are also hoping to bring this project to our, utilize our associations. Uh, it's been 14 years, this association. And ne our next events, it's in February and then the following March and June, April, October. Um, so are many uh, big events related to the biotech development and biotech and pharma pharmaceutical development, medical device, healthcare, um, and a business. So hopefully this organization will also work with uh, Jamie's project and hopefully to bring more awareness. And um, hopefully one day we, have, we can conquer lymphoma and then uh, treat more patients. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Ingning. That's a tremendous opportunity for our project. That's amazing.